This is dangerous for the whole country. I mean, just think about this. If we have objects in the sky that are the size of an SUV over any city, over any state, it's an invasion of our airspace. Epirus is a directed energy, basically a directed EMP weapon, and it is, seems to me from the reading I've done on it, it's, it's, it's defense against drones. Now to the alarming images tonight, the frightening moments on an American Airlines flight from LaGuardia Airport here in New York to Charlotte. Moments after takeoff of bird strike leading to engine failure, the plane then relying on the other engine for an emergency landing at nearby JFK Airport. Epirus is a really important company, and I'm, I'm proud to be a co-founder there with it. It's not just, I can't take credit for it by myself. What is Palantir? Uh, a scare on the air. Flight from LaGuardia Airport had to make a U-turn in the sky just after takeoff because of a bird strike. I walked out because it, it was it was worthless. Every question that was asked by the, a member of the state legislature, great questions, no answers. While well, the White House is downplaying the threat. What the hell do you think these drones are? You know, I'm gonna be at the Army Navy game, so I'm bummed that I don't, I don't, I'm gonna find out tomorrow probably from all these guys, you know, because I'm sure, I'm sure they know. They, I'm sure they know, but I haven't texted them and asked. I mean, if it's not ours, then it's really incompetent, right? If this is ours, then it's also kind of weird. Like, why, why are we doing this and freaking people out? But if it's not ours, what the heck, man? We have no evidence at this time that the reported drone sightings pose a national security or a public safety threat. It was like two years ago we're freaking out about a spy balloon traversing the United States. I got a good answer on that though. I'm sure, I don't know, but I'm sure it's public by now. Because of the fact that we let it stay up, we were able to hack into it, trace back where the data was going, and like find out a lot about the Chinese. Drone warfare is becoming obviously very prevalent. Absolutely critical. This is the future of warfare is like lots and lots of manufactured, smart, weaponized autonomous drones, whether they're flying, whether they're on the water, whether they're under the water, whether they're on the land. And that, that is the future of warfare as far as I'm concerned. How many drones could like one of these, what, what do you call the actual weapon? Is it Leonidas? Leonidas. Gallium nitride. Gallium nitride is a GAN, they call them G-A-N is the, is the element, you know, the code, the code. The gallium nitride, these are super efficient emitters, and these exist in other places too. It's a, it's a big breakthrough that was really started to be used in the last kind of like 10, 15 years in a bunch of different contexts. But it turns out if you use the AI chips, get the power to hit the gallium nitride, you're taking a bunch of power and you're kind of condensing it into like a 10,000th of a second. It's a super fast burst, and the burst is intense enough because it's so condensed that when it hits the, the drone, when it hits the electronics, uh, it fries them. The recent sightings of unidentified drones in the state of New Jersey, my home state, is justifiably causing tremendous public concern. Foreign drone technology, particularly China, is a full decade, 10 years ahead of where we are. That is unacceptable in America. I think, I think the vibe shift that we've been talking about is like, is like a lot of people are comfortable living with lives safely, and I think it's important that a lot of people come over to live with the truth, even if it's dangerous. Well, let's be honest with the American people and treat them like adults and tell them what it is. It's our government, or there's a foreign nexus. So as much as the military industrial complex, like you talked about, is an issue, you have some stuff we need to know how to do to keep America safe and to be the best in the world. You know, I'd gotten out of defense for a few years because after Palantir, it's just not it's hard. You have to go talk to senators, you have to go to the DOD. It's, it's stressful stuff. I built companies elsewhere, like you mentioned. I'm going to tell you the real deal. Iran launched a mothership probably about a month ago that contains these drones. I had a bunch of people uh, who we work with in like the bio world say, we're not going to work with you anymore if you're doing defense. This is so wrong. Like, you're just this evil. Why would you do this stuff? Like, we, it's just wrong to do. And a lot of fun just wouldn't even mean it. But it's like, you know, so it was like a thing you weren't supposed to do.
lot of our smartest friends in China were being forced to have their engineers work on military projects. And we said, wait a second, this is not good. Well, I mean, I think the fact that we let China and Russia become such close allies is ridiculous. I think that was a huge strategic mistake. And I think they're not necessarily natural allies. I think that was something where we drove them into each other. So that, that concerns me. What do you think about uh, Zuckerberg trying to get in with the conservative crowd? 